How y'all doing today? Today I have something great I'm excited to show you about. But first, let's look at over here. Can you see over there the beautiful autumn colors? It's late October here in Korea. It's rainy day. You got the nice clouds on the mountains over there. In fact, let's zoom in, get a good look over the hills and stuff. Yeah, look at all that right over there. And then look around me. You know, I got these straw huts and stuff. I'm gonna add a historical village, like a recreation. This is like uh, one of the villages we have locally where I live and where my country estate is located. And so this is uh, recreates what village life was a few hundred years ago. And in a later video, when it's not raining and I can get my camera out, I'll film some of that and show it to people. But today, what I wanted to do, and this is why I'm here in the rain, I wanted to show off, as a review to you, the Bundeswehr rain jacket, okay? Oh yeah, I got this, um, that Ratnik backpack I got a while, you know, a few weeks ago. Got that out here too. But I thought this would be a pretty interesting piece of equipment that you might be interested in. This is something I acquired back in about May 2013 from a military surplus online called SwissLink.com. And I ended up getting this coat for about 45 US dollars. And because of a mix up in ordering, the company um, also sent me later on, because there was a problem, they wanted to fix it, the pants to go with it. The focus will be on the jacket, but I'll get into the pants some too. All right, first, this is an awesome coat. I really love using this thing. It is warm, it is comfortable. This coat, is made of Sympatec. Sympatec is like the German version of Gore-Tex. I cannot tell you if one is better than the other. Suffice to say, they both work. You have on the German code here, Velcro. So this is like for uh, Feldkorporal, if I remember correctly, like the corporal in the German army. It came with the coat. Now, actually, it had these two stripes here, which was supposed to be a special designation. I forgot what it was, but I lost this one farming. I was doing my conscripted farming duty here in Korea, and it came off. Oh, well. Now, you also notice it has, like, a Velcro here for your, like, name tape and stuff. It does, and like the U.S. Army, which has, like, your name and says U.S. Army. The German Army, I guess, assumes, hey, you're in the German military, so there's no need to put a, you know, what, Deutsche hair or Bundeswehr or anything here. So, you just put your name tape here. And also, like I said, you got this one here. The coat has a hood on it that if you were to properly horn, somebody's honking their horn out there, zip this up and button it up and everything, it would come up to like this, as you can see here. Let me try to get this button here for you. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of difficulty relocating that button. Okay, so it would come up to like this, as you can see. Now, to be honest, that's like, it, without it, notice how it comes out. If you were to fully extend this out like you naturally would want to, it'd be looking like this. And it's hard to see, okay? And there's a good reason for that. Because remember, this is for the military, right? So you're supposed to wear like a field cap with it, like a ball, you know. Let's call it a ball cap, for simplicity's sake. Patrol cap or something. So when you put this on, the bib of that would stick out and would also add volume. So this thing will not go like this, okay? Hey, look, where am I? Can't see. It would be sticking up here, and that's the reason for that. And so, uh, this coat, compared to the ECWS, which is the Extreme Cold Weather System, Generation 3 used by the United States Army, is a little bit thicker. But, to be honest with you, I like using it better. It was che It's cheap. You know, you get these on the surplus markets, $40 US. Imagine what you could get if you're like in Germany or some other part of Europe. It also has... Uh, let me try to... Let me fix this camera here. Adjust it down a little bit. Okay. You might be able to see the pockets here. Okay. You got these two really big, deep pockets that are fastened by these buttons here. Inside this... I got my keys, my wallet today, and my watch. Really big. I really like these pockets. 
That's something the ECWS does not have. The, the R version of the raincoat. It has no pockets. It doesn't even have... I don't think it even has a zipper to access it. I could be wrong with that. But it definitely does not have an outside pocket like this does. You know, same thing over here. Also... Now, so there's any pockets up here? No, no pockets up here. So this only has pockets down here. So let me, uh, without the backpack on, let me do a 360 real quick. Step out. Okay. Now, I said also these pants are like a set that go with it. These are also made of Sympatec. You know, these are all made in Germany. This has a zipper here. It has no pockets. But it has a zipper that allows me to put my hand in here to get stuff like my money and my pants. And if you want to keep it, see how I zip it up when you might need it? Boom. People are arguing or something over there. Then also, on these pants, I also got a zipper here so I can get my, <laughs> let's uh, adjust that camera here. Okay. right here. Here's my boots. Got the zipper. Quick pass-through access. These work very well. Now on this coat, I've been using this all day. In fact, this is my favorite rain coat. You, know, you can see it's raining out here like I told you already. But I will wear this coat uh, around town. I'll wear it to work sometimes. You know, it's just a great coat. It's warm compared to the ECWS. It is warmer, even though it's a little thicker. You also get more warmth out of it. I like that. But let's take this off now and show you what's like on the inside. Yeah, and I'm traveling today. I have to go back west, so I just threw some clothes on. Yeah, look at that. See, you get. So I'm gonna look weird like a t-shirt and a tactical gear on. Let's look at this. Uh oh, angry people. So this is, um, let me try to get up to the camera. Fuchter Ringa, wait a minute, Ringa Lee, I think it's the brand. The size is 52 slash 54, gross. Gross means size. 1994, okay, so when I got this coat in 2003, what was that, like 19 years maybe? Now it's 2016, so this thing's like, um, what, 22 years old? And it's held up really, really great. When I bought this coat, I thought it was brand new. I mean, it, I mean, look at the shine on this. If you can see it here in the camera, really great camera. You know, color. It's not faded or anything. The only thing that gave it away that there was a problem was right here. See, right there, there's like this little nick right here, like it got caught on something maybe. That was the only problem with it. Now here it is in 2016. One thing it is developed, it has a problem. See like right here how these threads are coming loose? See like that? Yeah, this thing, like if you get it, if I can get this close enough for you to show, you'll see where it's coming unthreaded along the uh, Velcro patch here. Yeah, here it is. It's coming unthreaded along the Velcro here. And that's kind of worrisome because that means this thing is not going to stop. It's just going to get worse and worse. And i got to figure out what to do about that. I either try to get somebody to fix this. In Korea, there's tons of seam stresses, seam stresses, so they might work on it. Or I'm just gonna have to maybe, you know, get rid of this and go buy a new one, or a new used one. You know what I mean? A replacement. There we go. Really nice. Uh, let's get a big view of the inside. Make sure you can see what it's like. There are no inside pockets or anything. Okay. You got it like looks like you would as you could say it's sealed. The seams are sealed here. Sealed. Everything is sealed. It's really good. Like I said, no complaints about it. The pants are again Sympatec. You know, it's like the same material. You got these suspenders. Let me take this camera again, adjust it down. Okay. Suspenders here. Really nothing much to report about the pants. Same materials as they're sealed and they work. I would say now if you're into military surplus gear and you're a fan of that, 
this is definitely worth your consideration. I mean, this this is flecked horn, which is literally means speckled camo, and it is a beautiful camouflage pattern, I think. And you know, here in like a wooded area like Korea, this is an awesome camouflage to have. Uh, looks great, feels great. Highly recommend it. People like it. They comment a lot. Both Koreans and Americans who see me wear it. Of course, you got to be careful that too. You go on base or something like you know shopping or whatever on your day off, and you have this on. They think you're in the German military, and they want to know what you're doing here. Like, oh, is there an exercise here? Are you German? Oh uh, no, man, I'm an American. Oh, okay. You got to explain that to them. Yeah, a lot of fun, interesting stories about that. And honestly, what else can I tell you about? Yeah, you know, in the autumn colors, this is the, here in Korea. See the light green, the green. We got a little bit of red and brown going on right now because it's the, you know, we're going into the, uh, November. This is a good color to have right now. It works really good. So, I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, this little improvised um, review. <laughs> Sorry, brain fart. This improvised review, I wanted to share it with you. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please ask me. I'm more than happy to answer them. And please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you so much for your support. Have a great day.